Hello, J247. It was really nice um, to have some time to talk to you again. I hope this week you've had some great time to enjoy the sunshine and you found lots to keep yourselves busy. So I am back in my dining room this week and I have another experiment for you. Now I want you to think back to last week. I really hope you enjoyed the egg experiment. And I just want you to take some time, think back to that quickly and remember what I was doing. So I had three eggs, didn't I, that looked exactly the same on the outside, but were very different on the inside. And I really hope this week you've had some time to process that and to think about what is going on on the inside of you. Because remember, only you and God know what's going on the inside of you, okay? No one else knows that. It's just you and God. So I hope you've had some time to process that this week because we're gonna follow on a little bit from that this week in our experiment today. So once we've discovered what's going on in the inside of us, um, and when I say that, I'm talking about who we are in Christ. And J247, you know who you are in Christ from when you've looked at the ministry of Jesus and who Jesus is, when we've talked about the names that we use to um, describe Jesus, when we've talked about um, the stories and the illustrations that he's demonstrated to us throughout the Bible. Um, and all of those things kind of put together describes a lot about who we are in Christ. And when we think of the gifts that God has given us as well, so the fact that he comes to be inside of us, um, that he gives us strength, that he gives us grace, that he gives us love continuously, that he provides for us, that he protects us. Um, all of these things all come together and it gives you a big, big picture of who we are in Christ, okay? So how we can stand firm-footed on Jesus because he is, he is the bright, or he is the cornerstone um, of, of the church, okay? So we are the bride of Christ and Jesus is the cornerstone that we can stand firm-footed upon. We know that we can um, be, be strong in who we are because it's not us, it's him inside of us. And we know that we can always give thanks in every situation because he helps us overcome our feelings. So then we have to put into practice actually living this out every day. So we've spent a lot of time talking about the armour of God and what that means to put that on um, and to actually live that out and behave in a way that we are, we have the armour of God in and we are clothed with God. Okay, so he gives us his armour to put on, he clothes us in righteousness and although he gives all of these things to us, there is something that we have to remember to do in order for God to fulfill all these promises in our life, okay? So God offers us lots of things and we have to do something um, in order to have all of those promises fulfilled, okay? And actually see the promises happen. So today we're gonna to talk about what it is that we need to do. So now we've got the inside sorted and we know, and we've had some time to think about what is going on in the inside of us. Um, and if you haven't had time to do that, there's always time to do that and it's something we, we need to continually be doing, making sure that the inside of us, our hearts, we know what's going on inside of there. And then we have to think about what's going on on the outside as well. So today, I have an experiment with oranges. Yes, oranges. I'm trying to find things that you all have in your house. So if you want to have a practice and have a go at these experiments at home, um, you can do. So today we are going to do this experiment um, that will visually show you what we need to do um, to have God fulfill those promises in our lives, okay? So, are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha. So I have two water glass or two glasses here, they're big wine glasses, and um, I'm going to fill them with water. Ah, fill them up. I hope I don't run out of water actually. Let me check that. Woo, they're full. So two wine glasses full of water. Biggest glasses I could find in our cupboard, okay? So now I want to see, I've got two oranges, I'm gonna see what they do when I put them into water. So what do you think this orange will do when I just plop it into the water glass? Do you think it will soak or do you think it will float? Oh, soak or float? No, do you think it will sink down to the bottom? Yeah. Can't get my words out. Or do you think it will float up to the top? Let's have a look, are you ready? Orange, in he goes. 
It's floating. How cool is that? So, for it to float, um, actually I'll tell you about the explanation once I've done this one. So this one, I'm going to peel. Mm. It smells good. I love the smell of oranges. Mm. Mm. Orange is one of my favorite flavors in a cake or a sponge or chocolate orange. Oh, chocolate orange. Oh, stop dribbling jam. Chocolate orange. Right, are we ready? We're gonna put this one into the cup or to the glass of water. What do you think it will do? It hasn't got a skin on. Do you think that will make a difference? Do you think it will sink or it will float? Let's try. It sinks. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going down. It sinks. Hesitated for a minute there, didn't it? No, it definitely sinks. So one orange is floating, one orange is singing. Sinking. Sinking, singing, I cannot get my words out. So let's think about this orange. So this orange has a, a rind on or a skin. Now the reason it floats is because in within the skin, there are loads and loads of tiny little air pockets. And this makes the orange more buoyant and makes it float up. And so this orange does not have its skin, making it more, um, it, making it sink because it doesn't have those air pockets to hold it up. Now it's strange, isn't it? Because although this orange might be heavier because it's got a skin on and this one will now be lighter because it doesn't have a skin, still sinks and this one still floats. And it's those air pockets that help it. So do you remember back to our first experiment with the, um, with the water, um, the basin of water and I had a paper towel in a glass and we were putting it in, weren't we? And what happened to the paper towel? It stayed dry. Because do you remember how powerful the air was pushing the water away? It had such a great force in it to push that water away and protect the paper towel. And again, air here is something that is keeping this orange up. But that's not where I wanted to go. That was just to show you that actually air is really powerful. So when we think us about ourselves being in Christ, okay, God gives us an option to be clothed in Christ, okay? He gives us an option if we ask to be clothed with righteousness, to put his armor on every single day, and that is something that can help us. If we choose not to put our armor on when we wake up in the morning, we might not have such a great day. Okay, so this experiment is to show you something really, really simple, J247, that if you wake up every single morning and take just a few seconds, a few minutes to acknowledge God and go, hey God, good morning, I'm here. I wanna put on my cloak, cloak of righteousness today and my armor that you have given me and I wanna live for you today. You might actually have a really great day and find favour all around you and find blessings and abundance and just hope that perhaps you haven't felt before, joy that perhaps you haven't felt before. If you just wake up, roll out of bed, roll down the stairs and do whatever you want, you might have a bit of a moody day. You might be a little bit grumpy and you might be a little bit unsure about things or just confused in your head or just not feeling wonderful. And you know what? I think it's because if this bit about what we can do is we can choose to put on the armour of God every single day. We can choose and it's our responsibility, it's our choice during 24 seven to choose to say, hey God, good morning, I love you today and I wanna be clothed with you today. Okay, so that actually God can bring things into our lives. God can change our moods. God can help us do our work. God can help us not feel lonely. God can help us feel, feel loved and just warm and strengthen us every single day. And especially when you're not being able to see your friends and perhaps you aren't even able to talk to your buddies. You know, you can talk to God if you choose to be clothed in Him every day. All right, J247. So I hope this has really helped you to understand. It really is very simple every morning. Hey God, I'm here and I wanna follow you today and I choose to put on your clothes today. If you don't put on your clothes, it might just not be the best day you can have. And God wants you to have the best day every single day that you can have. So I challenge you this week, okay? Wake up every morning, make a choice, just a few seconds to acknowledge God and see how great your day will be. 
Brilliant J247. It's been really nice to share some stuff with you today and to share about oranges today. Have a go at home, see what you think, and we'll see you next time. Bye.